Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and today I want to talk about a topic that I only really started thinking about because of a video that Will, uh, Terminal 99, uh, put up and mentioned. He talked about the concept of falling in love with your investment, and that really struck a chord with me because I've noticed that that's sort of what's been happening to me. Uh, when I first started buying the gold and silver, I bought. I started because my friend, who did the same thing, he would buy gold, buy silver, buy coins, and he would sell it, you know, almost immediately and flip it for a profit. And uh, that intrigued me because I was interested in business, and uh, I decided to do the same. So I started buying gold and silver and coins, and with the, fully intending to just sell everything and just make cash, make money to spend on whatever I want or invest in whatever I want. But then I started learning more and more about the gold and the silver and started thinking that it might actually be a good investment for the future. So I figured, you know, I'll split it up. I'll keep all the coins that I buy because those, you know, have also a numismatic value and they're easy to store and they're easy to sell. Um, so I decided to keep that and then sell all the scrap for cash. And I did that, you know, I got a, 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 secure, a safety deposit box at my bank to keep all the coins in. Um, and, you know, I would buy coins, look at them, and then, you know, I'd bring them to the bank, put them in my safety deposit box, and keep them as an investment. But the more I started learning about the coins, the more I got interested in actually collecting them. And I started feeling an attachment to them. And once I saw Terminal 99's video where he talked about falling in love with your investment, I realized that I was succumbing to this, uh, this issue. So, what's the solution? You know, I'm nervous that eventually silver is going to hit a point where I'm going to want to sell and make a really nice profit, but I'm going to choke and I'm just going to end up keeping it, saying I don't want to part with my collection. And that worries me a little bit. So I don't know if any of you have this same worry that, uh, you know, you're going to just hold on to this silver indefinitely and uh, when the time comes to sell, you're just not going to. So, you know, I've got this little hoard here. This is just, you know, a sample that I took out of my box just to show for the video and you know I've got all these quarters and all these um, eagles and you know Morgans and halves and all sorts of stuff and I just want to think like am I gonna actually be able to sell this when the time comes you know I really enjoyed collecting these I enjoy having them um, but what am I gonna do when it comes time to sell them am I gonna actually be able to do it so when I went into a coin store today that I drove by, I uh, don't really go into coin stores that often. I've been to just a handful, you know, a couple times. And I stopped there and I started chatting with the guy who was there. And we were talking about coin collecting and he realized obviously right away that I was sort of a newbie. And uh, we started talking and we were talking about albums. And eventually by the end of, you know, my, my time talking to him, I ended up buying this United States uh, Dansko typeset album. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, a typeset is a collection of one of each type, one of each design of each coin minted by a specific government, like the United States, for example. So it's not like a penny book where uh, you have just um, wheat pennies and you get every single wheat penny minted ever, you know, from 1909 all the way to 1958. And you would, if it was a penny book, you would get 1909 plain, 1909D, 1909S, and then, you know, so on and so forth for every single coin minted. But that's obviously a huge undertaking, especially if you want to do it for every single denomination. So this is a good um, sort of compromise to my dilemma. This way, I get to have one of each type of coin, uh, American coin, and I get to keep that as a collection and not have to feel guilty about it. Because when the time comes to sell, I can sell all of this, but not have to regret selling any of my coins because I still have a really nice set that represents United States coins. So, for example, here, you know, um, I mean, I don't have very much in here yet, but like I have one, um, uh, what's it called? A large, uh, large cent, a U.S. large cent. So, you know, you can see here. You've seen this in my other video. It's 1847, and. Uh, as I get nicer and nicer grades, I will, you know, with better eye appeal, I'll trade them out. So if I have, you know, you know, I don't have to get every single one from 1840 to 1857, which is, you know, when they made this coronet braided hair 
uh, large scent, I just have to have one that falls within those dates and I can sell the rest, guilt free. Uh, you know, and over here I've got one steel pen, right? It's in pretty bad shape, but if I get one in better shape, I'll switch it out and I'll be able to sell this one and I won't feel guilty about it and I won't have to uh, hang on to it and feel like I'll regret selling it. So I'd like to hear what you guys have to think about this, uh, what you guys have to say about it. Do you guys notice that you've fallen in love with uh, your investment? Or if you're coin collectors, uh, do you ever worry that you'll never be able to sell your collection um, when the time comes? Uh, granted, if you collect it not for the investment, then it's a totally different story. But have any of you else found that um, you've sort of gone from investor to collector? And do you think that something like this, uh, a compromise like this, would be a solution for you? Or uh, would you want to be a little bit more broad? Would you want to have a few albums? or maybe just collect, keep all the dollar coins you buy and sell everything else. So I'm gonna show off the actual collection in a separate video, but uh, I'll end here and uh, I'd love to hear what you have to think, what you have to say. So thank you very much and uh, Silver Picker out.